Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this Christmas card making project. I do like making Christmas cards, and uh, I know I wish we we could make one every time, but we can't yet. Nearer to December, we'll do them more and more and more. So just bear with me. But today we're going to make a Christmas card using lots of Anna Griffin goodies, including the Christmas acetate cards and the vintage Christmas decoupage die cuts that go with them. So if in, in doubt, the vintage Christmas die cuts go with the acetate Christmas cards. Okay, but we're not going to use them how um, they normally used. We're going to use them a little bit different. So please feel free to check my blog out because there's always lots of information on my blog. All the items that I do use are always listed on there in case I forget to mention any. There's lots of other projects as well on there. Maybe this one isn't your favourite, so maybe you need to look for something that would be. So on there there's over 400 different projects and on YouTube there's actually over 500. So I'm sure there's something that you would like on there. Um, if you ever have anything to say, please feel free on my blog or Facebook. You can always find me there and I can comment back to you. I can't always comment back on YouTube. So if you're going to ask a question, don't ask it on YouTube because my replies disappear and then you don't see them. Um, that happens 90% of the time. I won't say it happens all the time, but there's a glitch on my account. So always feel free to share my projects as well. And that's it. Housekeeping over. Let's craft. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a base card. This is a 7x5 inch card, but it just so happens I've cut an aperture in it. Now, I've cut an aperture in it and I've cut it um, to fit what we're going to use on the front. And that's one of Anna's um, glitter stickers. And I've actually cut the aperture to fit the aperture of the glitter sticker. But I used um, a craft knife for that and I just measured it out with a pencil. That's I didn't die cut that, I just did it my own way because I wanted it to fit. Now, even though I've done that, I'm still going to use my bone folder to make sure we've got that nice sharp crease along the edge because ultimately we want this card to stand proud. So we're going to do the inside first, of, as always, because I know many of you like the ideas for the inside. And um, maybe that's why you tune in. Maybe it's just the inside ideas you like. So what I've done is I've got a piece of stripy paper. Now, this was from an old uh, Christmas card kit from Anna from years ago. And I just thought the inside for this card is a little bit different to what we'd normally create so it would work really well so I'm sorry if you haven't got this paper but I'm sure Anna's got lots of other striped papers that would work equally as well now I'm saying this is kind of a little bit different for us it is because you know me I'm kind of symmetrical and I like things that work all together but are equal shall we say so this is a little bit the inside of this is a little bit not so it's just a bit different now I've used my Xyron machine for the parts that we're going to need for our inside the section with the script on the script is from the vintage Christmas decoupage die cuts and it's from the sheet with the stocking on because it's the stocking we're going to use I'm not using the script on the outside of the card. I'm going to use it for our insert. And I'm simply going to position it roughly about there, towards the top of the card. Now the next section is a piece of ivory cardstock that I put through um, the embossing folder Scattered Holly of Anna's from the Christmas embossing folders. I've inked it very, very, very lightly with an olive ink and then I've taken it back through 
the die cutting machine between a sandwich of cardstock to squash it. So to flatten it again. So what you're seeing there is quite flat, but the pattern is from the inking that I did um, when I inked the embossed area. So I've peeled it away from my carrier sheet from Zyro and I'm simply going to add that through the centre drop it down a little bit through the centre section of the script like that and then the little holly embellishment again from the same sheet with the stockings on and I'm just going to add that at the top I'm not going to add a sentiment, I'm not going to add anything else to it, but now there's enough room for you to add your message to whoever you're sending the card to, and it just looks different and gorgeous, very different. Now we're going to do the front of the card. Now, I think this bit is... Um, I, I just think it's going to look like it's clever, and um, you know there's there's nothing clever about me um apart from my creativity well you know i suppose there are some clever things but you know i just always think well i can do it so can you type of thing so it's um it's just me showing you how to do it and you're thinking oh of course i can do that yeah and off you go now i've taken one of anna's Christmas acetate cards and this was the card in its entire form and I've cut it up so I don't need the back of the card for anything for this but I'm not going to throw it away for the simple reason just to give you an idea that would make a great window on a box if you had to make a box because there's only um, a few of the details on the sides the scrolls you could use that for a window for a 3D box. That would look good. So I've cut the section off that I want. So it's the front. And then I've trimmed it down. And I've trimmed it to fit the front of the card. I've also trimmed the corners in. That's a bit of a tip here. Because the frame that we're going to use has got um, indented corners. So it's kind of like... A different shape on the corner. You'll see what I mean when I marry it up. So I've got tape on the back of it. Now I know the golden rule is you can put tape on acetate underneath the coloured section. Well for this bit I've added tape around the edge because I'm going to add my stocking over the aperture that we've cut in the card. So you can see that there's my stocking over the window like so and yet the tape you can see the tape around the edge that's fine because we're going to cover that up but normally if you're using it as the acetate your tape goes underneath where the coloured sections are it's actually white on the back so that's how you know where you're going to put your tape anyway so we're not just to confuse you. So I'm going to put this to one side for the moment because I showed you earlier we're going to use one of Anna's um, glitter sticker frames. We're also going to use Anna's red foil cardstock and what I've done is I've cut the cardstock to fit the frame and now I want the frame to sit on the cardstock. So I'm peeled the back away of the frame and you see how I've done the indent corners because they match the actual glitter sticker and the frame and I'm simply positioning one on top of the other so that now when you look at that glitter sticker it's as if it's a frame and it's meant to be with the red. That just looks so cool. Look at the shine. You can nearly see me in it. You can see the camera. There we go. There's a camera at the bottom. Hey. So lots of shine on there. 
and now we can add this to our card front. There we go, just peel off the tape. Um, I'm going to add this over the top of the acetate. And now you can see I cut the corners of the acetate just to be sure we wouldn't pick it up at the corners of the file. You see what I mean? Does that make sense? Just so it didn't stick out basically. Press that down firmly. Firmly? New word, firmly of the day. There we go, firmly. So I've pressed that down firmly even. And you can still see we've got the acetate po poking through. Now I can use some of the decoupage pieces that are included on the sheet because on the vintage Christmas die cut sheets there's lots and lots of pieces that you can use to build up either on their own or with the acetate layers. Now you can still see part of the actual design that's on it and here we've got the Christmas houses which is just to one side of the stocking. So we match it up to where it is underneath on the design. I've got double sided tape on mine. And then I can add the decoupage pieces of the stocking as well, like that. And a little bit of the extra holly. There we go. Just make sure we add that. It's all on 3D foam. Then we can add our sentiment. And I'm going to put mine about there. And I can finish it off with a gorgeous Christmas coloured bow. And that is our card finished. So when it stands up, you're getting the acetate through the centre, you can see my hand, so we're getting the acetate, when it's closed you can't really see it, but you'll see it when it's stood up on that mantelpiece or in the window, and that is just a gorgeous different design and a, a different way to be able to use the acetate and the die cuts together. Um, the inside matches perfectly and it's just so pretty. Stands up nicely. There we go. You won't need your extra padding because there's only one layer of the decoupage and it's just so pretty. So please be sure to check out my blog because I put all the details on there and then if you've got anything to ask or anything to say please feel free. And I just hope you've enjoyed watching and I'd like to say thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.